Hello guys. I'm going to sorting sorting pagination in ASP.NET Core .NET file. So first create database table and store procedure and new project in ASP.NET Core. Let's see, first I'm going to create new project here. Okay, ASP.NET Core Web Application Model View Control. Okay, example and then project location is just up. Okay, next. There are the, there are the list of .NET Core version and I am I want to select .NET 5.0 then create this is server side designation search and sorting so first I am going to SQL server to create database like a create create data demo okay. execute and use demo so create table under the demo database example example so no, paging Pressing now find and solve here. This domain already create this article server site sorting, searching and designation in ASP.NET Core 5. So first create database. I have already created database database name okay create table I am going to copy here and then paste in my SQL server okay let's see select all from table name okay so her insert record SQL. Okay, I am going to copy this and paste here. Let's see. Then create a store procedure in the same database name demo. I'm going to create a store procedure. Here. This is dynamic SQL server where you can pass the source value. If you search the pass value, then this script is run here. Uh, order by here order by order by also dynamic so I have already created still procedure you can see here database name example Sorry, demo, then table name, page ignition, store procedure here. Let's see. This is my store procedure under, under the demo database. 
then I am going to create data table view model which is pass data from SQL server and bind in UI let's create We also create new class data table helper here and class name data table helper test here and I am going to copy this four and paste here need to install json install package json so here uh, i have already created two classes data table helper and data table view model okay then i am going to create new page in home controller yes here is already created okay then copy this code paste here you can see more details from data table dot net like this this is enter key table id which is f and year first name last name email and country Okay. No need to hear. No. So okay. Then copy this code and paste in home controller. First, I am going to create DB context here.
After that, connection is being in my uh, setting. So, yep. Okay, now copy this code and paste in controller. This is here in this section. Okay. Okay, everything is done. Here is my connection. This is my store procedure. This is my cable. Sorry, cable. This is my database. Okay, here is my store procedure. Like that. This store procedure calling controller like that I want to pass parameter from here in my store procedure so this is total records count total records and pass this here so here this is function and this is function is called here in the search case you can pass this function here like that and enter the okay home get list this is my base URL local local host port something and this is my column name first frame last frame email and country okay let's see oh, sorry first call this connection string in startup project startup like as copy and this and copy and paste this courier okay need to install from nuget package here 
Microsoft SQL for SQL install here you can migration database from here like You can migration from here. And migration, migration name, and of the database. I don't want to migrate migration now. So okay, I'm going to run my project. Connection is in default connection. This is here. As setting the direction. I want to add this code because this JSON format data is not fire pass in my controller. So I need to install and add this code in this function. Need to install her Okay. Run this application. 